This is Fat Bee Man. I'm in my backyard over here. And I just got to show you. Look what we have here. We're November 28th. We got goldenrod blooming yet. There's a patch of henbit that's blooming. Now the reason doing this here video, I had some requests to do a video on this here. Now what do you think that is? It looks like it's a solar wax melder. Now you know Don, Don's cheap. Now, if you can see this, this is recycled sliding glass doors. And I pulled the uh, aluminum off the sides so it lay down flat. Now I had several requests to do some solar wax melder. And this is a large scale. You can do a small storm window. Uh, you find them along the road, people throwing them out. Just go along, pick them up, and build you a square box. Now the easiest thing to do is you can line it with aluminum foil. This here has aluminum flashing, which you can buy it up at their, one of your builder supply houses. And then it's just got a little hole in the front. And it's got a pretty good little steep angle, and I've got it jacked up. It's got some cement blocks under the back. Now these things here, they get really hot, and the wax will come pouring out of the front. And I've got a kettle down the front there. Now this here, you probably could see there's a little waxing there at the top here. These windows, they need cleaning every once in a while. They work good. I've got about four inches of old comb in here. And there's probably 15 to 20 pounds underneath that the sun can't get to. And you can look right up in here. You can see some of the old comb. Now... <clears throat> These things here, I'm building them about every four or five years. I'm going to pan around and show you. Here's one here that absolutely collapsed. Here's another one. I haven't got around to cleaning all the wax comb out of it yet. There's still a lot of comb in there. Just you got to do whatever's got priority. And here's another one sitting over here. I've got two more out in the back there. And... The one that's in current use is a sliding glass door, so we have a box here that's about three foot by six foot, and we can put quite a bit of comb in here. I don't save wax from year to year, and in the summertime, this is an easy way to just throw your wax in there, keep the wax moths out, and it comes right down the front here. And it's clean pretty well. I still recycle it and uh, put it through a, a hot water bath make the new foundation out of it. Now you can see November 28th we got some sun here. I'm standing towards my backyard here and you can see that we still have quite a few beehives up and running here. I'm gonna pan down here through the back. There's part of it there and you can see the Part of the bee lab right there. This is my old storage trailer. Guess what? Bee boxes, bee materials, anything named bee is in there. Now, this this little video here, I'm shooting it because I had a couple requests on doing a solar wax melder, and I know it's probably a lot uh, common sense here, but. Uh, there's some people think it might be boring, but this here is one way to uh, keep your wax caught up and so the wax melts don't take over on it. And for new beekeepers that hasn't seen a wax melder or a wax melder of any size at all, it's probably a little bit interesting to them. If you got something on your mind that you'd like to see, I'd be glad to shoot a little video on it. Main thing is time. I'm between students right now, so I'm not here shooting a couple videos trying to get this stuff caught up. Appreciate you watching the Fat Bee Man.